I joined the Peace Corps in 2004. I was in a small village in the country of Guyana uh, where I basically was a teacher. Guyana had one of the highest HIV rates in in the entire hemisphere. I actually was attached to the maternal and child health clinic, working with women and children throughout the entire village. And I found that that was a good portion of the population in my village, but I wasn't able to reach out to the men. Primarily, they'd be out at work or they would be at the rum shops or they'd actually be playing on the ball field. So I actually took it upon myself to join their football team. The more they felt comfortable with me, the more these men started to open up and ask me their questions around HIV and AIDS. My first year was both exciting and it was frustrating. Uh, it was exciting in the sense that I had a lot of opportunities to meet all sorts of new people, to learn all sorts of different things about the village, but I also was very frustrated because I wanted things to happen yesterday. There's a saying that they had down in Guyana and they said, just now. And just now, could mean anything from uh, five minutes to a year and a half. That was probably one of my biggest frustrations. Yet, I found a way to adopt that in my second year and understand that I can only control so much. I had some time in the afternoon where I would actually teach small business classes and it was going well for about two, three weeks. Uh, but that fourth week, there wasn't enough people to actually have a class. so. I decided, okay, well, you know what? I don't want to necessarily cancel class, but um, I do have to go check my email. Do you guys want to go see that? Their eyes just lit up and they said, whoa, this, I've, we've heard so much about it, but we've never actually had the opportunity to see it. I worked out a deal with the internet cafe owner. I said, hey, you know, these are people that are learning how to use it. Instead of charging them the usual rate, why don't you charge them a discount rate? And down the line, these are gonna be your long-term customers. We would go through the basics of sending an email. They started using Google. Soon, Parika Internet Group was founded. There was a, a week where I actually had to run back to the, the States and I, I couldn't be there. But when I got there, they sent me an email and they said, hey, you know, things are going well. We're running the, sh we're running the show. You know, I look back on my experience and I think about how initially I was given the invitation to go down and be a community health educator, but two years later, I was able to build a new health center, refurbish what was there, and to install a new voluntary counseling and testing center for 16,000 residents. It was so amazingly satisfying, and it just gave me a confidence that I can do this type of work again in the future in a variety of different ways.